Remove the rubber plug from the housing of the hammer to access the accumulator charging port. Use a 516 Allen socket in order to remove the outer accumulator plug from the accumulator charging port. Use a 3 16 Allen socket to remove the inner accumulator plug. Inspect and replace the O-ring if necessary. Reinstall the inner accumulator plug. Do not tighten. Tighten the adapter group into the charging port of the accumulator. Connect the accumulator charging group to the adapter group. Close the purge valve on the accumulator charging group. Connect one end of the hose assembly to the accumulator charging group. Connect the other end of the hose assembly to the nitrogen charging group on the nitrogen cylinder. Before you open the valve on the nitrogen gas cylinder, ensure that the adjusting screw on the regulator for the nitrogen charging group is completely backed out. Unscrew the inner plug by turning the hex driver on the charging kit until it hits the stop. Carefully open the valve on the nitrogen gas cylinder. Increase the pressure in the accumulator until the specified pressure is shown on the pressure gauge in the charging group. Allow a few minutes for the pressure to stabilize in the accumulator. Close the valve on the nitrogen gas cylinder. If the gauge shows excess pressure, slowly open the purge valve and relieve the pressure until the proper reading is shown. If the pressure in the accumulator starts to drop, turn the nitrogen cylinder back on for a few minutes. If unable to keep a constant pressure, disassemble the accumulator and check for issues. Once the pressure is stabilized, compare the reading to the specified pressure while taking into account the temperature of the gas. After accumulator pressure has been filled to the correct specification, close the inner accumulator plug by turning the hex driver on the charging group. Do not over tighten. The plug will be torqued in a later step. Damage to the charging group can occur. Complete the following steps for proper disassembly of the charging group. Shut the nitrogen cylinder off. Open the vent on the charging kit to remove the remaining pressure. Remove the hose from the cylinder and charging kit. Use one adjustable wrench to hold the adapter in place. Use another adjustable wrench to remove the charging group. If this process is not followed, the inner plug may back out, resulting in a damaged O-ring. Remove the adapter. Torque the inner plug to 16 newton meters are 12 foot-pounds. Install and torque the outer plug to 70 newton meters or 52 foot-pounds. Reinstall the rubber plug into the housing. 